Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to City Skylines. We're going to be starting a new city today. I'm super excited about it. I think you'll find it really entertaining, really educational. You'll get a lot of tips. You'll be almost a guide, a walkthrough on how to build a city, uh, build it properly. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, there'll actually be a playlist for the entire city build on YouTube uh, that will be available. There are already a lot of uh, playlists that I have on YouTube for City Skylines, the first two cities that I built, and then a submitted city playlist along with tips. I do fix other people's cities and uh, fix their traffic. If you want me to fix yours, just let me know. And there's also uh, videos for a beginner's guide, a metro uh, or a subway guide, and traffic manager guide. So feel free to check all those out. Live streams are on YouTube, Twitch, DLive, and Twitter simultaneously. You can watch on whichever one you want. Uh, this will be available for replay on uh, YouTube. So uh, thank you for being here. As always, please do smash that like button if you like it. And if you, and if you want to support me more, uh, you can subscribe or follow. Obviously, if you don't like the content, you can hit the dislike button. So thanks for being here. I hope you'll really like it. Uh, the theme for this new city. Uh, it's going to be a snow city or built on one of the winter maps. The objective is to get to 200,000 population, so it's going to be a monster city and uh, have 80% or higher traffic flow without despawning. Uh, I have turned on unlimited oil and ore. Uh, that is something that I have not done in the past two cities. I want to do it specifically for this one. And in this city, I specifically will be building only particular items that I really want to build. In the first two cities, I was not able to do that, so this city will have very specific things that I want to build. Hey, typical, welcome, welcome, how are you? Uh, so basically, when you're in City Skylines, you go into a new game, and this is what you see. And so th there's obviously a boatload of maps, and then so here are, and I'm using only the default ones, because I don't want, uh, or the ones that come with the game, I don't want any user-made maps this time around, because I want to make sure that there's no problems. Uh, so here you can see that there's five of them. And sp one of the things that I looked for is right here. Can you see this where it says outside connections? I'm doing well, typical. Thank you for asking. Work was fine. I've uh, been having a good weekend. Um, so I want to make sure that the map has highway connections, uh, rail connections for trains. I want to make sure that it's got waterway connections for the ships and air connection so I want to make sure all the outside connections are turned on and in fact in the winter ones they they are all turned on and so I look through that and then uh, because the city is going to be really large I wanted to make sure it has a lot of area for building you obviously can change it right you can terraform your map and create more or less area for building but I wanted one that um, already has a decent amount uh, one of these others like frozen shire you can see in the picture it's extremely mountainous and so I didn't want to do that I didn't want to build this city for that uh, I think that would be good for a smaller city almost like a resort town oh welcome back happy how are you I'm glad to have you here uh, we're gonna be doing a brand new city build series so this should be pretty exciting so this snowy coast map I really liked it fits the criteria that I have for the outside connections dec a decent uh, buildable area and um, it's got some hills but it, it should uh, it, it's good for a large city so uh, that's the reason for this um, and then uh, the other thing that I will be doing is I am going to be having uh, weather turned on and day and night cycle turned on so you'll see that so we're going snowy coast I don't know the name so it's to be determined all right let's get started I've not built on a winter map in the past, so I'm very excited about doing that. And as I start the city, you'll see that I'll use the tips that I mentioned in my beginner's guide video. All right, here we go. Look at that. Uh, I don't need the tutorial. Thank you. And so I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. Let me uh, show the map. Uh, to everybody so obviously this is where we're gonna start this is the default starting position with the dotted lines so that's our city area and so 
Uh, we'll have a little bit of land uh, or an island underneath us. Uh, I, that's one of the reasons why I like it. There's another island right there. Another island right there. I wanted some islands. I, I definitely wanted some islands. Uh, and then we've got some nice little other waterways, which is fine. I've got the rail, got the roads. So it's a good, uh, good map for what I would like. Um, so before we get started, I want to update the traffic manager settings because we want to make sure those are set up properly from the very beginning. So let me go to that. As always, Stream Vibes music playing in the background. You can check it out on most platforms all over the world. What's your question, Typical? And so in Traffic Manager, uh, simulation accuracy right now is high. I'm going to change it to very low. Gameplay, obviously, disable despawning. Absolutely, disabling despawning. Enable advanced vehicle AI. Great doing that and then lastly turning off the automatically add traffic lights if applicable absolutely not we do not want traffic lights so those are all good to go all right and we are back all right and here you can see no despawning from the very beginning uh, yeah, hey, if you guys have any questions, feel free to fire away. And uh, so let's get started. I love, I, I love the way that the streets look. You know, they've got kind of like that, like melted snow look, worn look on them. I, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, by the way, I'm doing really nothing but vanilla. Nothing but vanilla, except I do have my um, uh, vanilla plus three-way, sorry, three-way, three-lane, one-way road. I will be using that, of course, for frontage roads when we get to that. But other than that, all vanilla stuff. And I, of course, have my uh, highway intersections that we'll be using. Are there different types of buildings in this, like sci-fi buildings and old-time looking buildings? Um, I don't know about sci-fi, but there is a building type in districts. So in districts, there is a building type for homes where they have like um, a very modern look to them. That's one thing. There's also a European style theme that you can also do. So yes, uh, there are some, what I would consider old time looking, some very modern looking. I don't know about the sci-fi though. Maybe somebody has a mod for that. So uh, we, I just want to turn on the, uh, the, the roads. And so we just want to do a quick little build Boom. So once we do that, it unlocks everything else. Great. And we're primarily going to build with this dirt road to save money. But these are going to be one way coming out. And you'll know why here in a moment. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this very fast because guess what? I think I've mentioned in the beginner's guide. Everything that I build right here, I'm going to destroy eventually as I have more money. I'm just trying to get the city going, trying to rack up some revenue. And after that, most of this initial zoning is going to be destroyed once I have more money. Just so you know. Great. Okay. I didn't build these straight out. Why? Because then the intersections are too close together. Let's get this going the correct direction. There we go. So first setup is done. Obviously, it looks very ugly. Like I mentioned, I am just trying to build stuff out. Okay, let's hit play. You're welcome, typical. Anytime, anytime. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Yep. Lower your budget to save money. All right. Um, so I like to do this rather than the wind turbines. Can we build over here? Oh, we can. Nice. Look for the estimated production. That's at eight. That's at eight. There you go. Oh, we get our first home. Yay. Who are you guys? Foggies? Hi, Foggies. Welcome to uh, the city called To Be Determined. Nido, and we got some but Groves? Welcome, Groves. Okay, so it's building nicely. I hope that's looking okay on the screen, considering, you know, the, the white... <laughs> the white land. Okay, which way the, does the water flow? Okay, it's coming down. Coming down. Okay, great. So I can put one right here. And then we can do the, the water outlet right there. Again, doing this super fast. Just to get the city up and running. It looks good. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's snowing. Look at that. Oh. Probably. Can you see that? It's right over here. You can see the snow coming down. Flurries. You can't really see it over the white area. You can see it when I do that. When I do this view. I may change the settings a little bit for the look to help it out. All right, great. We got our first shop. Convenience store. Nice. All right. Uh, there's more residential demand. Okay, no problem. I'm still kind of building it the, with some level of precision, but that's not really the focus. You just keep on building. Build, 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 build. I was like looking at the industrial demand. What's going on there? Let's go ahead and speed it up. Uh, we're losing money. That's okay. Oh, wow. You hear that? Did you hear that thunder? Oh, <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the, you can see the the flurries now for sure. Oh yeah. Let's get this uh, electrical stuff going. Okay. There's not enough electrical, so now we're bumping this up. Because I don't want to build any more. I don't want to build any more. Okay, let's get the water. And get the electrical over there. Can natural disasters happen in this game? Yes, they can. They're right up here. If you have natural disasters, uh, it's a uh, DLC. So they can happen in the game. Look at that. Oh, that looks so pretty. Oh, is that coming through? Yeah, that looks great, doesn't it? Hey, let me put it on regular speed, just so I kind of get more of a feel. Look at that. That looks so nice. The lighting in the game is great when you have it on nighttime mode. I normally, of course, when I'm doing my submitted city fixes, I don't have that set up that way. Oh, wow. We have a lot of industrial demand. Okay. Um, so I, I, you know, I, I play, I, I don't have nighttime turned on in the game when I'm doing the city fixes, but this is great. Okay. 
I don't know why I kind of messed that up right there. Oh, because I didn't do the right road? I didn't? Really? Seems like I did. I don't know. I don't get it. That's fine. So, uh, I'm just watching the demand bars right down here. That's what I'm doing. And I'm not overbuilding. I'm not overbuilding. We're just letting it kind of go. Obviously, we're not making any money. We're still losing 157. That's okay. But yeah, so it's really nice to see the game at night. Oh, did you see that flash of thunder? Look at that. It looks so pretty. So I kind of like the day and night cycles. All right. So we're good. Uh, we can't build anything else, so we don't have to worry about trash pickup or anything. Get the next layer of industry set up. I'll wait for the bars to get higher. So we need some residential. It's a little bit of need for commercial. Plop that down right there. Nope. One more over. If you're wondering why I'm doing that, sound. Yeah, it does look really pretty, right? The bridge. Neato, right? Let's get closer. Look at that. And and uh, obviously, you know, this is a default map, so when they designed the bridge, they made it symmetrical. You have to build the bridges a certain way to get them to match that way. Otherwise, these pillars will be off. Like, one side will be right here, another side will be, like, right here, right there. So... You, um, so... Uh, let me take care of the water here. So the reason why I didn't build a commercial right next to it is because of sound. If you come over here... Oh, it won't show me it. There's noise pollution. And people don't like to live where there's a lot of noise. It annoys them. They're going to the, their house or they're sleeping, and they hear a lot of hustle and bustle. They don't like that. So that's why I didn't put it right. I didn't put this right next to the homes on purpose. That's why there's this gap right here, in case you're wondering. Oh, a lot more residential demand. You guys see that? And look, we turned to profit. We have turned to profit. Here we go. That's good. The idea is just to rack up money. When am I going to redo this area? I'm going to redo this area when I have like 200, 300,000. Because guess what? At that point in time, this piece of land right here is going to be bought. And then I'm going to demolish this thing and put my highway intersection here with frontage roads. And then I can build on both sides of the highway. And that's when I'll really start to build out the zoning properly. And I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to take this rail and plunk it into the middle of the highway. Okay, how are we doing? God. Well, can we just slow it down a little bit? I mean, the city's kind of growing really fast here. I put these homes too close to that. Needed to have a gap. Here we go. go it's good and uh, you know what's the tip for layout uh, you want to mix your zoning 
So these guys are still close enough together. Close enough together, which is fine. Uh, we'll do another batch of industry over here. And eventually, as the industry gets far enough, we're going to put some residential and commercial here. So mixing the zoning, mixing the zoning. All right, I, uh, I do want to see if I can update a little bit on the look of the game, so bear with me here. I'm going to pause it for a quick moment before we progress. And uh, let me just see if I can um, update a, l a little bit of the l look. Just trying to update a little bit of the way that it looks. Just seems a little bit too intense. There, I think that may be better. Here. I think that may be a little bit easier on the screen. Hopefully that's a little bit easier. I, I may tinker around with it some more. All right, got some electricity. Oh, okay. It means we don't have enough. We don't have enough. And so not building another windmill. Instead, just beefing up the budget. Yay. Great. So garbage, health care, schools. Right, really? We, we need to educate our, our citizens? We don't want to keep them just dumb. There we go. Okay, so you can see that the electrical notices are gone. You'll notice as I rotate the camera, you can tell that the there is a shadow. And so like the sun is coming from a specific area. You can't see it because it's so windy. Still more elect uh, electrical. So we're going to go ahead and max it out then. And once it's maxed out, then we'll just have to start building new stuff. All right, some more residential demand. I've never actually built the water this way, but I really like it. Like one of the things that I want to try to do is, uh, you know, normally you have the water pipelines underneath, um, underneath the roads, and um, so I'm actually doing it that way, and it, I, I, I kind of like it. All right, so we finally have a need for garbage. Yeah, so right here, right here, the our original ones, the foggies and the groves. And so here's the garbage. Um, normally, you would want to start out with the landfill site. Cost 4,000 bucks. The recycling center costs 16. These two, these are from the steam workshop. I'm not going to use those. Like I said, I want to try to keep it as vanilla as possible. So I'm going to use this. I think this is also more realistic because it still creates some pollution, the recycling center. These from the Steam Workshop create no pollution. So I want to use that. Um, and I don't want to use the landfill site from the very beginning. And so uh, we have industry over here. So this kind of makes sense. If it causes pollution, it'll be over in this industrial area. So not a big deal. Look at that. You can see the colors quite nicely from this angle, can't you? They get 
they get kind of washed out over here. Oh, you can see them here too, I guess. Yeah. You can start to see a little bit of the color. I, I, I obviously, I build a lot from this angle. So this angle lets you see a little bit more about what's going on. There we go. There's just a lot of people moving in. It's just a lot of people moving in. Oh, what's, oh. All right, it's time for some more electrical stuff. Wow, look at all this snow. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, this is a coal power plant. I would recommend not building it. All right, we're finally having some electric, uh, some water shortages. We don't need to build anything. We just need to build up our increase our budget. Great. Yeah, so the coal power plant, um, if you have traffic problems, the trucks can't get there. Oh, shoot. What is this? Hold on. I've never seen this before. What does that mean? Does that mean that it's icy? What does that mean? What does that mean? Talk to me. Is it like icy or maintenance? I don't know. Oh, this is so cool. I don't see anything there. Okay, nothing there. I think it has to do with this. No, 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 right here. Snow dump. The snow dump sends out snow plows to clear streets of snow. That, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. I gotta, I gotta place that. Uh, oh my god, this thing is humongous! Holy moly! Um, I think I want... I'll, I mean, I'll have to move it eventually. Oh, does this... This thing... You, you, I, I bet that I won't be able to move it in the future. I bet I won't be able to move this. I bet you have to empty it. Let's do this. Cool! Yeah, well that's good for the thumbnail. Snow plows in use, zero of three, zero percent full. I want to watch them. Oh, here we go. Jeez. Pause. They're, they're moving too fast for me. I want to see this. Oh, yep, that's it. There you go. Oh, that was it. There's more over here, you lazy bum! Oh, I got some people walking. Got some walkability. Where's... Snowplow 0 of 3 in use. Dude! You losers! What, what, what do you think this is? Dude, my snowplows are ridiculous. They just want all my citizens to slip on an icy road and crash. Wow, so do the roads kind of come in a different color and stuff? Oh, you know what? He can't get there. There's no way for them to come back. That's why. Because this is a one-way street. Here. I'll, I'll, I'll change that then. Um... There. Now they should send another one out. Because it's just a one way to come in. Come on. You're going to send somebody out? Hmm. That way, if somebody takes, needs to take a U-turn up there, they can, because this is a one-way road down here. So nobody could go back up this way. There you go. Cool. Okay. 
There we go. There's the snow plow. Pause. How many are you sending out? Oh, all three of them are out. Great. Where are they? I want to be able to see how I can find them. Is it this? Oh, I gotta read this. This slows down vehicles, making traveling take a longer time than usual. Ah, okay. Got it. Ah, okay, so now I can see him. So there's one right here. Got it. Road condition. Got it. Okay, cool. Condition. Oh, poor. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so this makes it a little bit more challenging. Great. So, like, he's going over that icon, so when he goes over it, it should go away. Yep, there it went away. Neat. Oh, jeez, that's conf Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, great. All right. So we're good there. Let's take a look at the layout. Non-stop snow in this place. We need a lot more residential. That's fine. And... It really will be good to start to build it here. So let me take uh, another road thing. And we're making 1300 a week. So the city is quite profitable, which is great. But I don't need to really do anything fancy right now. I'm still doing some level of precision, even though I know I'm going to be ripping this out. Again, mixing the zoning up. That way these people have shorter routes to get to work. You barely can even see the road. Where are the lights? Oh, I don't have lights because I'm building the cheap-ass roads. Oh, <laughs> pardon my French. <laughs> There's no lights because I'm building the super cheap roads. Like, this, is the, the, this road is the kind that has the lights on it. Oh, that's so funny, God. My Sims gotta hate me. They're like, dude, can we get some lights on our road? Nice. Okay. Still not seeing uh, warnings or anything like that where people need... Uh, Where people need, um, you know, hospital. There's no messages for people being sick or anything like that, so we're good. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here. City Skylines, we're doing a city build starting from scratch. Already nice and profitable. City's growing quite well. In fact, I, I'm not really doing a good job of keeping up with all the growth.
Yeah, okay. I think that's good. And speed it up. We got some industrial demand, um, so I did leave room for that. Um, so I... I think it'll be good to put it right here to mix it up a little bit. Let's do some industry right. I uh, don't want it too close. There we go. Hit play. And let's see how we can hook up the power lines now. There you go. You good? Great. Nice. Oh yeah, that's what they're called. Um, I think it was typical you were asking. They're called self-sufficient buildings. That's what they're called. Let me go ahead and delete this. Get it out of the way so I can do the zoning. What do you mean you don't have electricity? Do I not have enough? No problem. Keeping on building this thing. Oh yeah, have any others opened up? Okay. Once the others opened up, those are the ones that I like to build. And where I'm placing it, you can see that it's got the estimated production 8 megawatts. That's what I'm doing. Oh, that's neat. You got some light, little lighting right there. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, again, just keeping up with the demand for the zoning. All right. I left this space right here to do some commercial. And let's go ahead and start building some regular roads, get some lighting going. There you go. Can you see the difference? There's a lighting on this road on the right hand side compared to the left. didn't mean for that to connect down here want to do that there we go let's fill this out there you go huge residential demand Oh yeah, you know what? <laughs> I haven't looked at the traffic. <laughs> Just kind of curious. 85%? Okay. We got one row that's kind of busy. This one right here. Understandably so, right? That's the only way to go from the east to the west side of the city. And that's what it looks like. When you've got the dynamic weather turned on. So how fast does this thing fill up? 
one percent full that's not bad at all all right so this is getting more and more more and more of a need keeping that going Do this too. Nobody has any complaints? None of you guys want an elementary school? Right? I'm not. None of you guys want an elementary school? You guys don't want a hospital? That's one of the reasons why we're making good money. 2,200 a week because I haven't built those. I'm waiting for to get the notice that there's a dead person. Then we can build a cemetery and stuff. There's no fire station, so I haven't really built, you know, anything. It's just about growth. Just growing, growing, growing. And that's what you want to do. Keep your city profitable. We can speed it up. There's not much demand. Some commercial demand, that's about it. that right over here notice I leave that space right there because the road is gonna come right there not that it matters right now oh pause Put some commercial right there give these people places to shop and it looks like uh, I, we are maxed out on the electrical usage so, um, we just need to keep on building this. When did these open up? 7,000 population? Oh, wow, I'm at 1,200? Neato. 40,000? Forget that. That's going to be a while. Oh, 4,400. We'll do that one next. I like the renewable energy. Uh, and, and, and obviously a nuclear power plant would be great, too. Um, so the geothermal power plant would be the next one that I'll really do. Yeah. We could do a hydropower plant, too. Wow, man, 1,600 megawatts? Okay. Yeah, so I, I, once we have a little... Once we're farther along, I'll build some more of those. All right, looking for 8 megawatts. Can I build one more? Okay. I'm getting a little bit more relaxed on spending the money. Because there's, you know, the city's quite profitable and it's, it's generating good revenue, so I'm less anxious about money. Oh, there's more of a need for commercial. Oh, tiny town, great. Park areas, that's fine. Some more roads that I can build, good! The uh, roads with trees, excellent. Neato. All right. Not that we're going to be using any of that right now. Only one objective. Growth, profitability, get this thing up to like 200,000, buy this piece of land, and then demolish the highway, and then start the real zoning. All right, hold on. Let me pause. Um, yeah, you can do the middle, mid-sized roads. Again, not really that big of a need right now. Um, we'll go, we'll go out farther. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I do this, right, you can see like, hey, why doesn't he just connect this? Why is he leaving it like that? Um, it's for traffic management. If you have too many intersections, it hurts the traffic management. So the idea is I'm doing it that way to minimize some of the um, some 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 of the, the the traffic flow, or not the traffic flow, the um, the the traffic percentage. I'm trying to keep it running well through this 
uh, this main thoroughfare. So that's that's why I'm doing it that way. You'll see that in all my city builds, I do that. And when I'm even doing illustrations in the submitted city fixes, you'll see me doing that. Okay. There we go. So nice big shopping area. Oh yeah, and I mentioned like, hey, you see that I'm creating space between the residences and the commercial areas. Why is he doing that? If you look right here, look at that. See the red? What is this right here? Those are the shops. And if you put them right next to the where people live, they're going to complain a little bit about sound. Right now, they're not. Right now, they're not. There's, they have a little bit of a gap nearby. You know, a little bit of a gap right here, a little bit of a gap right here, a little bit of a gap right here. But if you have too much commercial around the residences, it's going to affect the sound pollution. That's why I didn't put it there. Oh, there's demand for everything now. All right. Um, so that's good on the commercial. We'll do some homes afterwards. Uh, we'll do commercial there. And then uh, we'll do some more industrial right here. Okay. And if you're wondering why, is it for the sound? Yeah. Industry creates a lot of sound, so hence this gap. Hence the gap. But it also creates pollution. That's right up here. See that? Look at that. Looks terrible. And so it's to, people don't like to live near pollution. So that's why I'm building it that way. Gaps between the residential and pretty much everything else. People are so sensitive. <laughs> And again, I'm not overbuilding. I'm, I'm waiting for this stuff to kind of fill in a little bit. See, again, not putting this right here. I mean, there's already an intersection right here, but avoiding that. And so this can be maybe some commercial. Again, a lot of demand for uh, residential lots. And notice that we can't build the, the high density yet. And this is just a bunch of houses. Houses, small strip strip malls, or uh, yeah, strip shopping centers. You know, because it's all the low density commercial, low density residential. Oh, look at that. Crime issue right there. Oh, look at that, yeah. We're starting to see some crime. Okay. Um, right here. Yeah, so we're starting to see a little bit of crime. And so now we can go ahead and, and put in a police station. So that's 12,000 bucks. What? Wait a minute. 12,000, 12,000. What's the patrol car capacity? 10? 10. 10. 480 a week 480 a week well this is a question a little bit of a question for a typical right you got two different types of police stations you see you got that one which looks old school and you got that one which looks more modern so you can just kind of use whichever one you want they have the same stats it's just a different aesthetic so I'll, I'll use uh, both 
really. Um, and it does make people happy. Right there. So that's good. Not worried about the noise and the pollution from that. In fact, I don't... I don't think it... Does it cause any? Yeah, no pollution, no noise pollution. Solid. How are we doing on traffic? 84. It's not much of a problem, right? Major demand for residential. Oh, we've got some kind of... Ele Who doesn't have electricity? Oh, okay. And a little electrical thing that somebody didn't have electricity. Oh, thanks, typical. Yeah. I, I think it's neat. You can start to see the traffic right down here. Look at that. Right. Remember, uh, I've mentioned it many times before. Don't build with the small two-lane roads. And if you are wondering, like, wait a minute. He's building with the two-lane roads. Why does he always say build with the four-lane? He's building with the two-lane. Because I'm just trying to build up money. That's all I'm trying to do. But remember, I'm going to destroy all this and redo it once I have the money. So when I when I rebuild it, it's going to be with the four-lane roads. Like the roads that I like to use aren't even available. Like I like building with this one. Uh, I'm, I can't even do it. We need to get to 4,400 on the population. So that's why. This is, this is just kind of a... Call it a temporary layout. And then the f actual real layout of the city is going to be built once I have a lot more money. So we're just kind of building it out as best as possible. Uh, need some more electrical. Okay. Eight. Is that it? Oh, that's seven. Eight. Okay. And... Um, where else can we put... Um, it'd be good to put residential down here, close to where they can work. And it'd be good to put some industrial down here. Again, mixing it up, but making sure that they're not affected by the pollution and the noise. Otherwise, the zoning is not going to work. It'll create little uh, uh, breaks in the zoning. Can you see that? It creates breaks in the zoning. So you have to remove the power line so the zoning fills in properly. All right, so this is supposed to be residential. Um, here we go. Let's hit play. And we can bring this power line right here. There you go. So stuff will be growing pretty fast, I'd say. I'll also be redoing the... Uh, the grid for the sewage. Nobody's complaining about cold weather. Jerry, hi. Good evening to you. How have you been? We're doing a city. We're doing a brand new city from scratch. First time I'm building on a winter map, a snow map. Oh, there's something. Who doesn't have electricity? Why is that up there? Everybody's got electricity. Yeah, okay, there we go. It just took time for it to reset. The goal is to get up to 200,000 population. Goal is to have 80% traffic flow with no despawning. Right now, we're just trying to rack up some money.
Eighty percent is no problem for you. That you are too kind, Jerry. We'll see a two hundred thousand population city. That's going to be challenging. Right now, the population is two thousand. So, pff. I mean, that's a piece of cake. That's that's nothing. And then we've got dynamic uh, weather turned on. We've got dynamic. Um, or we've got day and night cycles, so you can see all the really pretty lighting that that the game has. And first time I've ever put down snow plows. Kind of figured that out right, right in front of you guys. There you go. Look at that snow plow going. All right. You, you missed these roads, dude, you lazy bum. What? Thanks for skipping these people. Nice. That's great. That way those cars can slide right into their garages, create some accidents. Oops, let me just slow it down a little bit. We got a lot of demand. I want to take a look. Snow plows in use, three of three. So, uh, d is there more work than they can handle? So, I'm going to increase that to 75%. Again, I've never done that before. Or, I've never done the snow plows before. I assume that changes this. Yep. Okay, so now the snow plows is five of six. Okay, great. All right, so let's pause. So that uh, updating the budget for the roads increases the snow plow usage. Why didn't all the street lights turn on though? Very good question. That's because some of the roads were built with these really cheap two lane gravel roads and they do not have street lights. And then as I got a little bit more money and to make it a little bit prettier, uh, I started to build with the regular two-lane roads that you can see even in the image. It has the street lights. So that's why. Um, okay. Commercial. Hmm. Okay, that's good for commercial. More residential. Where do I want to put more residential? Kind of want to keep on coming down and to the west. Industrial demand, there is. Okay. Oh, yeah, by the way, what's my unemployment rate? Wow. Solid. You'll notice that unemployment is not a problem if you build out the zoning like I'm doing gradually. As you see the demand, you build it out. to see where I want to put the roads in. So there's, there, there's, there can be some industrial over here in this corner. So we've got some opportunity for commercial. So we'll do that. 
And then we've got opportunity for residential. Good. And then we can do industrial. There. A little bit bigger of a build than what I have done so far. I'm going to watch the start from the stream on 2XP until I'm live again. Okay, Jerry, you're so kind. Thanks. And so that's a little bit of a bigger set of zoning than, you know, what you have seen me do. But some of that has to do with, um, there's more money, there's more demand, or not more demand. I mean, the, the, the amount of demand has kind of stayed level, you know, it goes from low to medium and then I start building, but, um, the city is growing quite rapidly. Uh, and, and it's getting more and more profitable, so it's to try to set it up for this an anticipated growth without going overboard. And we got some more electrical demand. Kind of making it a tight fit. And so you can see that, oh, hey, um, he's broke. <laughs> and you're right. We have $9,600. We're making this the most profitable the city has been. But you can see that we don't really have a whole lot of money. Uh, you can see that there's some electrical need right there. Uh, it'll, it'll hook up eventually, and we don't have to worry about that. So just letting that go. Um, there is starting to be some people that don't have sewage is backing up. And so we can go ahead. We don't need to build anything. We just need to ramp up our... There you go. Ramp up our budget. I don't see anybody complaining about not having enough schools, not having enough health or anything like that. You know, in terms of big complaints. In terms of big complaints. We can, of course, take a look at the tweet, tweet see what people are saying. Ah, so, you know, here, Elizabeth, when is our city going to build a school of its own? When are we going to get one for health care? So there's, there's some people that are asking about it. And I, I think the timing is pretty good. Now you can see we're all the way back up to 13,000, low demand. So I think it's fine. So we've got two medical clinics. Um, capacity 100, capacity 100. So basically it's a modern looking one. It's an older school looking one. 10,400 a week, 10,400 a week. Boomtown, if you can call it that. And so I'll I'll, I'll I'll mix it up, of course, but let's see where we can place it. So, you know, this would be a really nice spot right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Bam. And... Uh, there, it doesn't create any noise pollution or regular pollution, so that makes people happy. So that's good. Oh, uh, by the way, it, if you're looking, you can see that, hey, whoa, the bank balance exploded. Whenever you hit those milestones, you know these milestones right here, uh, you get an influx of money. There's, um, yeah, th th you get like a bonus. So that's why the, the, the dollar amount skyrocketed. Okay, so these guys hooked up. I still don't have access to any of those. We've got these advanced wind turbines. They're a lot more expensive. But you can see the power output is significantly more. 0 to 20 megawatts on the bottom right-hand side compared to 8. So you can put them in the water. Like right here. Oh, yeah, estimated production 20. I'll put them above the poop water. So yeah, we can go ahead and put in an elementary school. Eligible is 427. So you got two different types. You got this um, uh, capacity 300. What is this capacity 300? And then these are the high schools. Where are, oh yeah, these are the university stuff. Yeah. Um, 
So that's like older looking elementary school, newer looking element. Wow, that's kind of fancy. Man, elementary kids don't need that kind of fanciness. <laughs> hey, dragon, what is up? Sorry, I just saw your message. How are you? Uh, 10,000 on the cost, 160 a week. So again, the kind of same theme for uh, cost. I think there is a different amount of space. Did they take a different space? Nah, it's, the space is the same, it looks like. Oh, wait, hold on. This one, so this one takes actually more space on the map. Um, so we don't want to go ahead and put one in. I just need to kind of think about where we want to place it. You know, I, I think like right around here would be really good. So that commercial area is going to get obliterated. It's fine. So and you can see, like, you run out of money really fast. Like, I got that bonus, right, of 30000 bucks or whatever it was, and I've already used 20000 of it. Oh, gosh, we have a fire. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Um, thank goodness I got money, right? Fire engine capacity... Six and six, twelve thousand and five sixty. All right, that's a cool looking fire station. These are like the old school looking ones. I'll, I'll put that in. Um, I think the police station is over here, right? Where's the police station? I can't remember where it is placed. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I couldn't be more wrong. Um, so maybe I can, I can like put it right here, next to the hospital. There you go. And uh, we can watch him. Oh wow, that's super cool. Oh, you can hear the sound. Hold on, hold on. Gee, God. Look at this. The guy's like, hey man, mayor, you took too long. Dude, you overshot. They're way back here. Can you see the firemen? What's this building? Ready to wear. Oh, clothing shop. Okay, that's cool. Typical. All right, good. They put it out. So, you know, you can get caught, obviously, hypothetically, if I didn't have the money. You know, I would have to take a loan really quick and build it out. Uh, build it out very fast. So, I'm lucky that I was able to catch the fire and have the money to build the fire station very quickly. So, you know, a little bit on the risky side. Um, it, it, it would have been... I need to uh, increase the uh, budget for the water. Maxing that out now. And uh, after that, we'll have to start building new water drainage pipes and pumping stations. So, uh, a mistake on my part, it would have been better for me to build a fire station, you know, maybe when we crossed 1,000 people or 1,200 people. So, I took too long to build that. So, that was a mistake in this build. So, just be aware of that. Build a fire station sooner than I did. That was a mistake. We still don't have enough. Yeah, look at the draining ca drainage capacity for the sewage. Okay. All right. So, well, let's just build another one. There we go. Oh, it's pretty bustling now, isn't it? How's the traffic? 84%. There you go. There's the road that's super busy. Uh, Dragon uh, uh, asks, what's the goal for the city? Uh, very good question. So it's my first Snow City build. And so that was one of the objectives is to have a, a snow-themed city, number one. 
Number two, the objective is to get to 200,000 population, so it's going to be a monstrous, monstrous city. Number three is to have the traffic flow at 80% or higher with no despawning, even at 200,000 population. And then the other one is, uh, this is going to be the first city where I'm only going to build stuff that I specifically want. I wasn't able to do that in the previous two city builds. So that's the other piece. Oh, hey, what are you guys asking about? Not enough workers. They want a lot more uneducated workers. The unemployment rate is 4%. Well, I mean, the population is growing, so, you know, you guys just wait and, uh, those, those workers are coming. And so you can see how, look at the demand is very low. And remember I said that, hey, I'm going to build this out a little bit more than normal. And uh, I did. And you can see like, okay, it, it's taking a little bit longer to fill in because I built so much. And that's okay. That's okay. As long as you don't overbuild. That was probably about as big as you could, you, that I should get. Uh, we got a little bit of garbage. What's um, what's going on here? Nine of fifteen garbage trucks in use. Okay. Just this this road is very busy. Can you see that? Look at that. Very busy. Which mods do you use? Um, so for this match, I'm going to try to keep everything pretty vanilla, but I am using the traffic manager mod, which would be the main one that affects gameplay. <laughs> of course, he says. All right, so some people are still saying they need more workers, but it's getting a little bit better. And that's because there's some more demand, or uh, more people are moving in. There's a little bit of demand for commercial, so um, it'd be good to put some commercial right here. And it'd be good to put some commercial over here. And just you can see the profitability has you know the amount um, that I'm making for the city has diminished significantly and why is that that's because I built all of these things that cost money the school the hospital all of that stuff like look at the hospital Ambulances in use, 0 of 8. Patients, 20 of 100. So you have to put that in, but you don't need to build many of them. You do not need many of those at all. So now you can see, like, hey, look at that. You can see a lot more lighting. And then, again, to, uh, I think it was, was it Jerry that I asked? Who asked about the lights? Yeah, Jerry asked, why didn't all the streets turn on? Well, our lights turn on, and that's because these have the old school roads, the dirt roads. There you go, you can see the... They put that, the fire station, fire trucks are there putting out the fire. So I'm really happy so far with the build. Only mistake is I, I didn't put in the fire stations fast enough. And then what about this? Snow plows in use, six of six. So most likely I'll need to beef up the budget. Because I can see that there's a lot of roads, 14, that haven't had the snow cleared. No industrial demand. Just residential and commercial demand. So I'm, I'm going to let it build up a little bit more. 
So let's go ahead and speed it up. See that residential marker? Look at that. Okay, that's good. Um, where should we put it? What's going on with the electricity? All right, we'll take care of that momentarily. Um, let's see here. Where can we put residential? Mixing the zoning, of course. Mixing the zoning. Um, maybe a few more down here. Yeah, some more of the roads are opening up. This one with the tram lines. Yeah, there's not going to be any tram in the city. You can wait over a month with the electricity. Um, yeah, I, I think you can wait a long time. I don't know what the exact timeline is, but I know you can wait a while. But I'll, I'll, I'll try to address that. So this is as far out as I'm going to go. I don't like to build right next to the city edge. Um, so all of this can be... Residential. Um... Put some commercial right here. And commercial down. And then I want to put some more residential down here. Let's let's kind of leave right there. And then let's address the uh, the energy need. I think I can put another one up here. Yeah. Looking where it ever says 20 megawatts for maximum. <clears throat> Happy Berry asks, are the taxes set at 9%? I always forget to set it to 12. So, um, uh, it's an excellent question. Um, and let me show you on the right here. Um, where does it have? I forgot where it is. So when you first start, you can't do any taxes, and once you hit Little Hamlet, you can do taxes. And so the default is 9%, and yeah, a good tax rate is 10 to 12. And so thanks for reminding me about that. I appreciate it. And so, yes, we do want to actually change that here momentarily. Um, What do you... Oh, you let me get this taken care of. So, yes, it's great, great suggestion. Happy is totally correct. Oh man, I messed that up. That's okay. That's right. Since I'm going to be demolishing it here momentarily. So normally you want a tax rate of 10 to 12. Uh, the lower the it is, the more people are enticed to come into your city. Higher it is, you'll eventually get to a point that they don't want to come in. Thank you everybody for watching though. Welcome. We're doing a city build. First city build I've been doing in a while. It's on a snow map. Objective is to get to 200,000 with excellent traffic flow. And so right now the objective is just building like mad to get money. And then once there's money, then I'm going to actually destroy all of this, redo it the right way with the right roads. I want to buy this land up here, put in my own highway intersection. And yeah, so um, there's not um, a specific time. You can update the tax rate whenever you see fit. So um, if you want to do it right from the very beginning, when you have the opportunity to, you can. If you want to wait, you can. You know, it. It's um, either one is fine. 
I'm trying to do, kind of do both. I'm trying to rack up money and get the city to grow very fast. Let me uh, take a look. We got some industrial or uh, um, electrical need. Take a look. 151 on the consumption, 139 on the production. Okay. We don't have enough money for uh, this. 12,000. We'll have it here momentarily. So now the city, this is the most profitable the city's ever been, but that's understandable because we just raised taxes significantly. Can I build it farther out? Yep, yeah, good. Up higher. Great. So those are the water, wind turbines that go in the water. So anyways, uh, thank you, Happy, for reminding me about that. I appreciate it. All right, let's um, speed it up. We want to try to get the demand bars going. There's a trash need. Um, uh, where are you at? Three of 15 garbage trucks in use? What, what are you guys doing? Eating donuts? Get in your truck and go pick up the trash. He's right up here. This is the Emersons. Get to work. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even notice there were so many snow flurries. Oh yeah, you can see it right here. It's like non-stop snow in this city. It looks pretty cool though. Yeah, great. So even with the high tax rate, you know, people are just coming on in, which is great. So, um... Uh, I want to build out that way and down. I think I'll go ahead and build down. Just a boatload of residential. Um, but I don't want to overbuild. Let's see here. That's good. Being very cautious of overbuilding. Let's get them the water that they need. my god you're already filling out jeez yeah the city's growing by almost triple digits now per week almost oh well, I guess never mind it was for a moment there okay you guys are good on the electricity I just keep on seeing a lot of trash a lot of trash how's the traffic yeah, it's starting to drop a little bit. That's right. Oh, by the way, how much money do I need? Oops. How much money do I need to buy this? 5,200. Okay. I really want a lot more money before I start making the wholesale changes. I would like to do that this stream if possible. That's what I would like to do. That's what I would like to do. We, we are going to start to run into some small traffic problems. How much money does it take for me to build my highway intersection? Oh my god, they're not even available yet. 4,400. Okay, well, let's just get to 4,400 and then I'm going to evaluate what I need to do. 
and then this recycling plant is killing me. Let's go ahead and update the speed limits. I think most of the, almost all the roads that I want. 4,400 is really the, the big milestone. That's the big milestone. Some more residential. So yeah, so this main thoroughfare is going to start to get decent amount of traffic. So now you can see why I don't put intersections at every, with every, um, I guess, like why I don't have every piece of road connecting to that main thoroughfare. And then when, when I do kind of demolish or rezone the area, it will have a population effect. Which is fine, that's not a big deal. This the city is so small, it's not that's not very important to me. Just keep on racking up people. Keeping on growing. Alright, there's so much on the tra on the garbage. I'm gonna beef up the budget. I don't wanna put in another plant yet. Hey, Dragon, thanks for stopping by. Take care of yourself. Hope to catch you next time. It's a rough place where these people live in this city. They get nothing but snow nonstop. Let's take a look at the trash. I'm looking around for purple trucks. I don't see any. Where's my, where's my garbage trucks? One. This one. Oh, there's another. I want to fire them <laughs> and replace them <laughs> with harder workers. Have you seen the new Stranger Things season? I have not. Typical. I have not. I haven't seen that TV show. I know. I I know about it though. Don't 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 put any spoilers in the chat though. So I know about the show, but I haven't watched it. Uh, how we doing? So we got some industrial demand, some commercial demand. Population's really growing nicely. You can see mixture in the zoning. Uh, it'd be good to put some commercial shops over here. Right here. There you go. need for some industrial I don't want to put any industrial over here it's not good waterfront property wouldn't mind doing some industrial down here okay thank you typical I appreciate the recommendation and I, I'm there's a um, there's finally dead people so we can go ahead and build um, a cemetery, but I want to see when do crematoriums turn on. Not anytime soon. 15,000, so we need to go ahead and do the cemetery. And I'm going to put it out on the outskirts. That way it doesn't affect me in the future because you can't move those until you empty them. And so when I redo this area, I want to be able to... Um, I want to be able to... Uh, update this area without having to work around that cemetery. Alright, so the garbage is at 39. It looks like maybe it's getting picked up. Where are we at? Where's the garbage? There we go. 
Okay, yeah, so I do see some garbage trucks now. There's finally dead people. <laughs> yeah, there's finally dead people. Okay, so I see more garbage trucks. You see the purple? All right, so that's good. So we finally got some garbage trucks going around. Um, yeah, 6 of 18 in use. Okay, good. So we do need industrial demand. Take a look at the unemployment. Solid 4%. That's great. All of that is positive. Here's the industry. <laughs> Thanks, Typical. Typical says there's finally dead people. That's a very strange thing to be waiting for. Very true. Uh, so a little bit more industrial. Um, that's enough. Where we add on the electrical. So I think I can bring it up straight from here now. And I can remove this. So, so far, the city build has gone, according to plan, 58 on the garbage. All right, I guess I'll just have to build another one. Um, and I think it'll be good for me to place it um, like I did before near the uh, industrial area there because these these guys are just worthless they suck they just don't do their job that's amazing that there's still 83 percent traffic flow with these pathetic small roads that's amazing that they are handling the traffic i'm shocked Uh, but so so far everything has worked according to plan um, happy with the building we've got great population growth uh, we've got good profitability uh, no huge issues the zoning looks great uh, the road stuff it worked out really nicely we're building stuff when we're supposed to uh, only issue was uh, not building the fire station fast enough and then I probably should have changed the tax rate sooner. So I would say those are the only two issues. If you want to build a city, I would build uh, the fire station faster and increase the tax rate sooner. All right, good. Finally, they're getting all... Okay, better. All right, so we've got some demand. Uh, we still have some more industrial demand. So I will... put some there and then we'll do commercial right and then residential no don't these windmills make a lot of noise oh geez yeah so no on the residential or the commercial there we'll put residential here instead put the commercial over here next to these windy uh, noisy windmills wind turbines you had an AI generate a story what does that mean for fun or you do that often build this out.
I love the dark, really black roads. It looks really nice to me. Um... say have all that residential maybe the top part can be commercial like that give them some shops nearby yeehaw sweet Great, that opens up a lot of stuff, so that's very good. Oh, I don't want you to build right on the rocks, though. Never mind, I'll leave that open. I'll leave that rock formation going. There. Put shops underneath it. There. Alright, so finally... I've so now all of the roads are what the Okay, so the monorail well, there's not gonna be a monorail, so that's good. Great. That's probably another monorail. Okay, so I've got the roads that I wanna use. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All the highway stuff is opened up good, and then excellent, my highway intersections are ready. How much would this cost? I'm just kind of curious. $48,000. Ugh. That gave me a lot of money, though. I had an AI-generated story and made a story about you? Please tell. This is hysterical. Please tell me. All right. Um, let me pause. What about electrical stuff? Yeah, sweet. Geothermal power plant. Great. So that can create 80 megawatts compared to this dude at 8 and this dude at 20. So this costs 12,000 bucks and 6,000. Okay, and then how much does this cost? Whole, ho, 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 65,000 is actually pretty good. Okay, <laughs> tell me what it said. Um, so that's very expensive. Okay. You gotta put this roadside, right? Yeah, okay. So I've got a lot of empty space in a couple of different spots. So um, you know, there's some space right here. Fit it in. And we do need electrical. So let me do that. What the? Why does it build horizontally? You can't put it on the side of a road? It's ridiculous. What about right up here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have it. I'll have it down here. That's good. There you go. Gathered all the people in a city and. All right. So uh, typical says uh, that AI said giant wall around a city. He thought it would keep all the bad people out. In your face, G gathered all the people in a city and explained his plan. <laughs> Everyone was on board. And they started building the wall. It took a long time, but eventually the wall was finished. It was so tall and strong that no one could get in or out of the city. And your face, you was so proud of his city and the people in it. That's funny. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's great. Here, let me do a wall. Let me just destroy this. Boom, boom. Then nobody can come in or out. <laughs> That's hysterical. How are we doing on the water? Okay. All right, so we're good there. And these power lines can be destroyed. Excellent. So we're making really good progress. Just, you know, the m money at the beginning of the game is very challenging, so that's uh, understandable. We just have to be patient. Keep on letting the city build and build and build and start making more and more money. And eventually we're going to, you know, buy this area up here. It's pretty. 
That looks great. Demand for residential. Why is there demand? There's like all these homes available over here. Some industrial space right here, commercial space right here. Good. Let's speed it up. And, uh, yeah, the crematorium would be the next phase. Capacity is 300, eligible is 500, and I'm assuming you guys need a middle school or a high school, I should say. Eligible is 750. Okay. And those things cost 24,000. Oh, okay. Just let it keep on running. Let's take care of the water here. So let's see, uh, the high schools, 24,000, 24,000, 1,000 capacity, 1,000 capacity. All right. That one looks really cool. And so let's take a look at the size. So that one's humongous. Very large. And this one is smaller. Okay. So either one is fine. Where's the elementary school at? Over here. Maybe we can put the middle school over here or something. What do we got? Right here would be nice. We can do the big one. Is there room? Kind of. Oh, yeah, it doesn't actually fit in the zoning. So we'll do this. There. Wow, man, that thing is... Jeez, you can see it from space! <laughs> I mean... Good God, I mean, how much electricity do you want to use for this this high school? Have the students use a candle. It can make three Prager F story in a couple of seconds. That is pretty cool. Okay, so the trash has definitely diminished, which is good. So we're good uh, for that. There's huge residential demand all of a sudden. Broke 5,000. Um, got a lot of money. When's the next milestone? Oh, it's 7,000? Hmm. Does it tell you how much money you get? It doesn't. That's fine. You can build a start to build a subway. At that level, there's no need. No need. I made a story about your cats. Um, well, there's some more room for... I think they'll kind of fill out this area nicely. There you go. I love seeing the whole, um, I love seeing that it's got snow on the road and so the these black roads start to turn gray and then get covered white with all the snow and then you see the snow plow come over and clean it up I think that's great the one thing that I have noticed is I don't see any of the issue with the heating like not
Like, nobody's complaining about that, hey, dude, we're freezing, Mayor. So I haven't seen that. So we've got significant amount of demand um, for everything. We have 53,000. Um, I'm really close. You know, I want to buy that piece of land. I can build the intersection. Hmm. I'm thinking. It's farmland right there. What are we importing and exporting? Pfft, nothing, because the city is so small and puny. I think it's time. We're exporting way too much. I need to start building specialized industry. And there's farmland right there. Do we have any kind of industry on this peninsula? No. Right? Just don't have the money. Yeah. So one more batch of growth, and then I think I can build that other side. Thanks so much, Typical. You're so kind. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Thank you for reminding me. Um, here's the Discord server. Feel free to join. And then if you want help with uh, fixing your city, um, I like I mentioned before, I do submitted city fixes all the time. Be more than happy to do that. And uh, you can uh, mention that in the Discord server. There's also a merch store. And then there's a way to tip and donate. But thank you, everybody, for being here. Hopefully this has been entertaining. There's a lot of people watching, so thank you so much. We're doing a brand new city build and city skylines. Please do smash that like button if you like the content. You can dislike it if you don't. And then if you do want to support me more, please do subscribe or follow. Live streams are on YouTube, Twitch, DLive, and Twitter simultaneously. You can watch on whichever one you want. Previous videos are on YouTube. There is going to be a playlist, obviously, for this city build, but there's a boatload of other playlists for city skylines including a lot of other games but specifically for city skylines there's uh, some city builds that i've already done a boatload of submitted city fixes where i fix other people's city and then uh, tips beginner's guide metro subway guide uh, traffic manager guide um i think that's good on the residential hold on i would like to do some uh, more commercial right here. Yeah. And then... We can do some industrial right here. That's good. So I think that'll be the last batch of building in this temporary initial part of the city. And then um, 
I think I definitely want to break this right here and start to build that area out. And then I will be doing that in a very serious, pristine way. I just need to build, let the money go, I'll let the money build up. Let me see uh, what are people asking for. Oh my god, this is hysterical. My little princess was trapped up in a tree for three hours before the fire department shored, showed up to save her majesty. Oh man, Walter, you really like your cats too much, man. Where are all the garbage trucks? Why is there no one picking up our trash? Dude, it's it was picked up. Who doesn't have water? Oh my goodness. Sorry about that, man. There you go. Yeah, Walter loves his cats. It's great. Let's take a look. Look at residential happiness. It's terrible. People hate living here. So they just keep on moving in. How's the traffic? My goodness. How is it possible that you can have 83% traffic flow with no despawning with the worst roads in the game? Unbelievable. I can't I can't even believe it. That's amazing to me. It just goes to show how much of an impact a good layout has. If you've got the right layout. Even with mediocre roads, you'll 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 do well. <clears throat> oh, it looks like we got water shortage. Yeah, and I'm maxed out, right, on the budget? Yeah. Okay. Build some more of the right here. Man, can you can, can you guys see this right here? Oh, it it won't show up right there but if I do this look at that brown it's all poop water flowing downstream don't worry we'll be cleaning that up eventually because eventually we'll build this the water treatment plants those help clean that up so we'll eventually do that once we we, we have the capacity to do that all right so I know I've got 48,000 and that's enough money to build this but it's too close. You, you've got to give yourself more of a cushion. More of a cushion. How come you guys don't have water? Did I mess up? What's going on? What do you guys need? Oh, and the pumping I need. I need to build both. Okay. So now that we built so close to the power lines, sorry, uh, the power generation areas, we don't need the power lines anymore, really. Because they're all hooking up automatically. So I've removed most of the power lines. And uh, there we go. Get those out of the way, freeze up the room for the zoning. And there's industrial demand. Okay. Well, that'll be the farmland that I'll do up here. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll do some farmland right here. Boom, 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 boom. I need to first place in the roads first. Yay, you guys aren't experiencing snow. Wonderful. You know... I would say that it'd be really nice if like the snow melted and then it came back. That'd be really cool. Rather than just permanently temperate or permanently snow ridden. That'd be nice. That's wild. Hey. <laughs> Let's go ahead and I mean, it doesn't really matter. 
There. That's a better, better thing for that. That'll help that road out. Look at all these people walking. Oh, that is true. One of the reasons why the city has good uh, traffic flow is because of the layout. There's great walkability. Great walkability. And then notice there's no roundabouts. And so a lot of times if you put in a roundabout, if you're going to use the highway road, it, they won't be able to cross it. So it affects your, round, uh, your walkability. So you just have to put paths if you're going to use a roundabout. But I think I've mentioned many times before, you do not need to... Uh, uh, you don't need really need to use roundabouts. It's only like um, very unique circumstances where you really have something weird going on in the traffic. That, you know, um, updating the dedicated turning lanes or dedicated directions didn't work. Or, or the road size isn't correct. You know, so that's kind of a last, last resort. Normally it's not needed. Oh, look at that. It's starting to get busy. Okay. Look at that. I'm just letting the money pile up. Okay. Well, good timing. All right, so I think we have enough money. I'm just trying to give it a lot of a, a big cushion just to be safe because I, I don't want to do a loan. And so this side is going to remain, and I'm going to start to build up this side. And I'm going to take my time on that one because I want it to be perfect. Um, so it's going to be very precise. Uh, and then as that side starts to build out, then I'm going to start to uh, destroy this side and start to get this rezoned the way that it should be. Um, and while we're waiting, let me see how the road system is set up for the highway. So you got the rail, and you got this highway that comes and hits this. Okay. So, east-west, you got a highway on that side, this side, so that's good. It's really close to the water, so it's going to be hard to do highway intersections, so it'll have to be destroyed and moved in inland more and there's no highway on this north side so there'll have to be a connection right up here and there's nothing on this east side okay I'm just thinking about how I want to place it Seventy-five thousand. That's good. Is this road? I want to build with the uh, game grid. Is this directly perpendicular? Does this ever intersect? Hmm. It looks like it's set up quite perfectly with uh, the grid. Just seeing if these lines are set up right with it. It looks like they are. That's good. All right, here we go. Um, now, where should this be placed? Should it be... It shouldn't be here. You need one highway intersection coming this way and another highway intersection coming that way for the traffic. So this really needs to be placed. Um, how wide is this? Oh, there'd be quite a few. That's a hundred. That's another hundred. Oh, actually, this is actually that's probably in a pretty good spot. 
Yeah, okay. That's fine. It can be placed right here. That's good. So it can be placed like right here. Boom. Smack dab in the center. Here we go. I'm just thinking. Hmm. Definitely when I'm doing like the submitted city fixes, I'm trying to move fast, but this is my own city, so I'm going to be taking my time. That's totally fine. And then the other one will be over here. Makes sense. I think that's good. There we go. Um, I probably will go in like another 20 minutes or so, typical. Oh, hey, Jerry. Sorry, I'm, I just missed your... Your, your message. I, I'm sorry about that. Welcome. 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 Welcome back. Wow. I, this is the first time I'm seeing it with like the black roads. Super neat. And um, I'm not going to do anything with the frontage roads or anything like that right now. Just trying to... the right spot for this and I'm gonna pretty that up later on all right very good and so now we'll just hook this up and I can use the roads that I want Come on. Come on. What the? What the? Okay. Those poor guys are going to get their zoning messed up. Put them back in right here. Ooh. There we go. I love the black color of the road. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I think it's really neat. All right. So finally putting in the roads the way that they're supposed to be. So what did the, with the snow, does the green on the trees show up? It's like the trees are covered in snow. That's neat. All right. Um, so we're just going to drop down the, I, I, I don't need to drop it down actually. Uh, normally I would drop down the rail, but I don't need to do that right now. What the? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I need to.
I forgot how um, I forgot how far I need to go. I'll, I'll have to build out one section. There's a, a certain uh, distance that I need to go, so I'm I'm going to do a little mock section really quick. So I can remember. Yeah, let me, let me just use this as a test. And I think I think this is the right distance. Yeah, it is. Perfect. Okay, good. Good. I just wanted to make sure that that was the right uh, distance. Um, are there bombs and nukes in this game? Uh, you can't build a road through the rail, but you can make a level intersection if you want. Um, I don't know exactly what you mean by level intersection, but I think... I think I think you have to put in the road first and then you can take the rail or the where is it? Oh my goodness, I can't build it. I uh, I I think that you can put the road in first and then the rail can cross it. Uh but I don't think that um uh I thought that you could actually take a road and go right through the rail. Obviously you can't, so you're correct about that, but I think that you can take rail and go right over a road. All right, so I wanted to make sure that this was set up properly. So it, it is, let me see what this distance is. Okay. Bingo. Okay. How much money? That's fine. I'm going to stop right there on the money. So that lets me know exactly where I need to go. You can, but you have to create a node at the rail. So connect at the rail first and continue after. Oh, genius! Thank you very much. Jerry's amazing. Got it. Uh, so thank you, Jerry. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Jerry just taught me something. So if you see this, I can't go across the rail. You have to go here, build it, and then build from here out. So you have to just stop. You have to terminate your road at the rail and then continue on. So two steps rather than one. Thank you, Jerry. Um, so, uh, and then are there bombs and nukes? Uh, there aren't. Uh, there's, yeah, there's meteors. And there's like tornadoes and there's tidal waves. There's a couple of other things, but I can't remember what all of them are. I have it turned off. Okay, so I wanted to do um, farmland here. I wanted to do farmland here. So let's kind of like do up to that. And then industry, farming, boom. And yeah. Oh, man. And you know what? Guess what? I messed up. I can't even fix that train line. Because I don't have the population. How dumb is that? Or, I mean, uh, that was me being dumb. That was me being dumb. Um, so, don't destroy the rail line. Otherwise, it's going to mess things up. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, the uh, people in the outside connections. I've just ruined your... Uh, your... Your mode of travel. Perfect. 
There we go. Exactly. That's exactly what I want. And then... Perfect. And so inside that, that's going to be industry. Perfect. Play. Uh, there's a cool game that you should play when it comes out. I like to see some gameplay when it does come out. What's the name of it? So it's a real highway intersection. Nice. My my th and by the way, th this is my highway intersection. You can find it on the Steam Workshop. I think they're the best highway intersections out there. Integrated rail, integrated frontage roads, integrated paths. More of it will start to get used over time. Oh, yeah, there you go. And look at the lighting. So these roads, they've got like these yellow lights. Oh, man, that looks great. And it kind of mixes in with the white lights of the smaller road. It's great. So basically, this is a more proper way that I'm going to be building the city, right, compared to this, which was just to get the city up and running and get some money. Outbreak is the name of the game. Okay, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. So I will be fixing the rail once we, you know, once we get up to 9,000 and once I um, can build that out. You know, we, I will be doing that. Uh, it was my mistake. Uh, I should have just built this road right to here, connected with the rail, and then p continued on. So that was, that was my bad. Um, there's supposed to be industrial demand. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's filling in now. You can't see it because it's so dark. Maybe if I do this? Yeah, there you go. There's a lot of residential demand, which uh, we're not going to be doing right now. Just because of money. Alright, let me see what I can do about... the water So I, I try to also do, um, I try to be really precise with even the water stuff. All right, let's get you guys electricity. Um, it's going to be coming from over here. So where I always place it. Or maybe not. I think I'll have to build it over here or something like that eventually. That may work. All right, good. Excellent. How we're doing on money? Very good. So it's all part of the farmland. And do we have... When did these come up? 7,000. Okay. I really want to get the city to 7,000 so I can do the other... What I really want to build. Oh my. Wow, man, these fire trucks took a while to get there, huh? You guys got another one over here. Good. Yeah, look at that. I love the lighting. It's great. 
So I do want to do some residential, uh, but I, I want the heavy residential to be available. So that's what I would really like. Let me pause. Yeah, and you're right, Jerry. There's a huge residential demand. I agree. Um, cause uh, cause this side I wanna I I'm not gonna rush through that. I wanna build it proper the way that I really wanted to have set up. Um. Um, I want some more farmland right here, and then I want to put some more stuff in. Maybe on the outsides of the lower part until you hit 7,000. That's a great idea. That's exactly what I was thinking of, actually. I was thinking, oh, maybe I can just fill in some more down here to help me get to that number just to help me get there temporarily. So I was thinking about that too. And I've, I've got some, some room right up here too. Um. No, I, actually, that was fine. That was fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. So, what I would like is one more of industrial. Yeah. All right. Now, let me try to fill in some areas here. Just filling in some areas just to try to get the population higher since this area is going to be rezoned anyway. Try to get to the 7,000 number. So let's just see if we can get there. Um, don't forget to include it in the farm district, otherwise, it will pollute the farms. Um, um, what are you referring to, Jerry? Don't forget to include in the farm district, otherwise it will pollute the farms. What are you what is polluting what is gonna pollute the farms? That looks super cool. Uh, the last industry you zoned. Uh, oh, I, I see what you're saying. Um, let me take a look. Thank you. Thank you. You're correct. You're correct. You're totally correct. Thank you very much. And uh, what Jerry's referring to is correct. You got this. Here's the pollution. These guys are going to start to pollute. And it's going it, to, you know, it doesn't work well, obviously, with the farming area. So they'll, they'll eventually get destroyed and they'll be rebuilt. 
and uh, let me see how much bigger I want the farming actually um I wouldn't mind it let me see I'll have to wait I want to see what this import export looks like but I may have to build it out thank you typical that's so kind of you no, you guys are great. It's nice having you on here. You guys are chatting a lot, so I appreciate it. And then you guys are helping me. It's hard to build and stream at the same time. Because, like, your attention is a little bit on the game, but then your attention is also like, oh, uh, you know, making sure to r try to respond to the chat. Um... Where else do we have some residential room? Just to try to get up to that 7,000 number. And what I would like to do is fill this out and then I think that'll be a good conclusion to the stream. There we go. Have these guys... The polluters? No, they're still there. That's okay. They'll, they'll, they'll switch out here momentarily. Yeah, I, I think I would like for it to kind of grow out over here. So I think I would like the farmland to be that big. <laughs> Pleasant Square? I should change it to Pleasant Park for Fortnite? Come on. There you go. Yeah, so I, I think it'll be something like that, approximately. I'll fine-tune it uh, a little bit later. What do we got ma being made over here? Orchard? Orchard? Fruit for all? What you got? Bread and beyond? All right, that's cool. Got it. Baking company? Box factory. All right, well, they, they should switch out here. I don't know what kind of orchards you can make. Dead on snow. All right, good. How are we doing on the 6,500? A little bit more to go. Is there any other place that we can fit some stuff in? Some right here. There we go. growing gradually what's going on over here you guys haven't had trash picked up in a while wait a minute isn't this a garbage truck right here this garbage truck just left your neighborhood oh he was full there you go there you go he's gonna get he's gonna get you guys there you go all right 6600. All right, let me just speed it up. Next to shops is an option. Let them deal with the noise for a bit. Ah, there we go. So this one has finally got replaced. So there should be no more polluting areas over here. Great. Yeah, I may just build a section temporarily down here. Actually, that's what I was thinking of doing. I'm just waiting for the residential demand to pick up a little bit. Right, let's take a look at the import-export. Don't recall exactly what it was. But it should be getting a little bit better. 
We're getting some good money though. Some good money, which is great. Okay, residential demand is starting to uh, rise. Just a little bit. How you guys doing? Is, is it all filled up? Looks like it is. Try to... Well, I'll put one... I'll put some down here. Wow, it's just the growth is ridiculous. Yay! All right. Sweet. Let me finish this out. Great. All right, let's pause this. Yeah, finally all of them are available, so now I can build this section out the way that I wanted to. And that will be a good spot mm, to finish up. Is this the end of the stream? I I'm just going to finish this one section up that I'm doing, and then after that it will be yes. There we go. Very, very good. Perfect. Let me do the water. This time around I can do it the way that I want to. Perfect. Awesome. That's how I like to do them. Great. Hit play. I'm just going to let that run a little bit. Never noticed it doesn't zone around stones, the new suburb you built in the south. Here? I don't, I don't see any over here. Oh, oh, you mean right here? Right here? Yeah. It'll leave some of those artifacts. You can delete them if you want to. You can delete them and then zone over it. But I kind of like it because it, eh, you know, it makes it, makes it look nice. Add some character to it. Let's do this so you guys can see it kind of getting built. Solid. I think that's going to be a good first episode. It built fast. We got a boatload of money. Look at that. 130000 Most everything went well. I made a few mistakes. And then we kind of got those rectified, except for the rail, which I will have to rectify when I can actually build. Not for 9000 but now I can start to build this area out, start to get that population going, and gradually start to rezone this area down south. Yay. All right. Sweet. So it's importing more. 
with with a need for forestry, okay? Unemployment, solid. How's the traffic? <laughs> That's actually pretty good. 7,000 population. 83%, no despawning. Great. Uh, we'll update the city policies later as more of them get opened up. All right, sweet. Nice. I may actually update the commercial area here. Um, I may update the commercial area here because you can do like organic. Uh, where is it at? Yeah. Oh, right here. You can do like organic and local produce. So I probably will do that a little bit later. And uh, Jerry's asking a good question. Are the people educated enough for offices? And so like um, uh, here's the offices. And so you can see like they need well educated. They need three educated and five well educated. And you can see that they don't have enough workers for that. And there's some jobs available. And so is there enough educated people? The answer is no. But there will be overtime. There's some. There's some. But there's obviously a little bit of a job shortage. Oh, Pamela, hi. Thank you for following. Oh, it's so nice to see apartment complexes. That's great. So finally, the city's starting to look a little bit more realistic. And so, yeah, so... Um, uh, Eventually, what we're going to do, obviously, is uh, we have to build out some of the education, but there's one step, right? We got an elementary school, right? Capacity is 300, eligible is 551. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. High school, we have more than enough capacity, but university, look at that. 872 eligible, and we have no capacity. And so we didn't really have the money or much of a need before, and so they're very expensive, 75,000. And so that will be the next step. And so we will be putting a university in place, but that will be a little bit later. So right now the offices are good. Maybe we'll see some notices that they can't find enough workers, but that's okay. They'll be fine with that. But eventually we'll address that over time. And especially like there's more money now, which is great. I just want to let this get to daytime so we can see this area, and then we'll wrap up. I don't see really much issues. There's obviously some uh, issues with snow on the ground, so we can take a look at our snow plow. Ten of ten snow plows in use, all right. By the way, what else can we make there for the road maintenance? What is this? Road maintenance depot to boost roads around, allowing travel. Oh, okay. And then there's a snow dump. Hmm. I want to build another one, and maybe we can put one up here. Notice I, I, uh, I put it offset. See how I didn't put it all the way over to the left? And that's because eventually this road is going to come down and it's going to hook up with the frontage road. Is that going to address the water? Is that good enough coverage for you, man? All right, let's speed it up. Let's get to the daytime. Great demand. There's some industrial demand. Uh, well, you don't know. Technically, it, it could be industrial, but it could also be office. And there's no need for actually generic industry. So there's plenty of that. I could do some forestry. Pause. How are we doing? 288, production is 264. Oh yeah, what? Did anything else open up for us? Oh, sweet. 
Noise pollution is 50, 80 megawatts, 240 megawatts. Cost $90,000. Okay. I did want to put that down. Takes up a lot of space, doesn't it? Um, yeah, we can put it over here. That can be moved pretty easily. How are we doing on water? That's fine. Okay, so let me hit play. So that's the new area. Looking very good. I like it. So I may update that to the organic produce. I think that'll be pretty cool. Nice. There's a, definitely a need for a trash collection. And there's the trash guy right there, this purple one. So he'll take care of that. Um, it still says that there's some people that need electricity. Oh, it's a little bit of a delay. Okay, that's fine. We're good. Awesome. And that new section is filling in nicely. Filling in nicely. And now there's more and more money, so I should be able to build this part out. And so the hardest part of the game is actually done. So I think that's a good stopping point. Um, the beginning part of the game is the hardest because of the money. And you just have to be cautious about money and build slowly and wait for that money to come in. And then eventually, you know, th there's more and more money coming in. Um, and, and you start to build up more and more of a, a balance down below. And so then eventually you get to a point when your city is large enough that you just kind of build and you don't even look at the balance. You don't even pay attention to it because uh, it's large enough and the city's profitable enough. Um, but obviously if you run into problems like traffic problems or you overbuild or over services, then you can have those issues. But you can see by the way that I'm building, we shouldn't have those, uh, those issues. Or if they start to crop up, then eventually, you know, I, as I'm building or looking around, I should see it to make the updates. Um, all right. Well, I think that's really good. So much fun starting a new city. I really like it. Um, and it's nice to kind of finish with a real section that's not going to be changed. And so the next step is to continue to build that out and then start to gradually rezone this. And so there won't really be a lot of population updates because as you rezone those people leave and then new people come in um, anyways hope you guys enjoyed city skylines doing a new city build we're gonna get the city up to 200,000 in population traffic is amazing um, and so obviously as the population gets bigger that's when you start to get to the really fun stuff with uh, the traffic challenges uh, but if you like the video please do smash that like button and if you want to support me more, uh, feel free to subscribe or follow. Live streams are on YouTube, Twitch, DLive, and Twitter simultaneously. You can watch on whichever one you want. And uh, previous videos, including this, are going to be on YouTube along with all the other playlists. Thank you so much for everybody watching. We had a lot of people watch, uh, a lot of people in the comments, so thanks so much. Uh, thank you, Jerry. Yeah, have a good night to you. And then uh, thanks, Pamela, for following. Really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. You too, Typical. Yep, thanks so much. Bye-bye.